second year with TAG. I was associated member last year, and I became a board member this year, so I can have my shows here. And my title is East Meets West, and as the title says, my I use Korean traditional polychrome painting techniques, and I use silk or marble papers, and also the concept behind these paintings are from East Asian philosophy, uh, mainly interconnectedness of the world. And I'm sure you heard about that one, but I'm going to explain that a little bit later. Okay, and so I brought you some of these ones. These are the ones I use for my paintings. And I'm going to show you a little bit of this because this it is, it might be very different from the conventional paintings here, so I'd like to show. So what I do is, I use a silk or marble papers. So these are the pigments I use for, and I'm sure everybody knows about charcoal stick. This one is the silk I use, and as you feel it, it's not a fine silk. It has large pores, so you can see through, and these pores are filled with gelatin glue water. This is the gelatin glue water. This surface is smoothened, kind of I do put several layers of gelatin glue water, then I frame it, and this is the end of that one. Oh. Then I paint here. This is how I do it for silk painting. So you can see a lot of pores. You can see through here, but when you look at this one, it's kind of, mm. it's not, right? Mm. So also in silk painting, the difference is I paint on the back. Mm. I, I set the colors on the back and then finish in the front. Mm -hmm. So by using this kind of technique, what happens is color gets a little, little bit more subtle. It is very soft, but by coloring on the front too, it gives kind of depth in it. Mm. So that's what I like about the silk painting and that's why I use this one a lot. Okay. And this is the gelatin stick from cow skin. So it's a pure kind of protein stick. And this is the bonding agent for my paintings. So what I do is I soak this one in the water overnight. And when it gets softened, then I heat it in a boiling water. So it becomes liquid like this. And sometimes the concentration is very high, then I add water and just uh, use different concentrations, okay? Okay, are you guys following me? Yes, it's yeah. okay. amazing. Okay, all right. So these are the pigments I use, and these pigments are from soil, rocks, minerals, plants, Sometimes we use the synthetic ones because it has a variety of colors. And what I do is I mix with the glue, gelatin glue, then before painting I add water. So it gets thinner, then I color. Mm -hmm. And when I color, it's not just one layer, I color several layers. So what it happens is it's more like oil painting techniques, but the colors are building up. So it gives more depth in it. So that's how I do it for this one. Any questions on this? Okay. So this is the traditional way of doing it. And then we can go to the painting. Or do you have any question? Or? So you coat the salt with the gelatin. Mm -hmm. And then and I may have missed this. Do you mix the pigment with something or you just put the pure pigment? Oh no, this pigment, okay, this is from minerals. So yes. I'm not gonna open it, but if it, this one is a synthetic pigment. And what happens is I have to crush it mm -hmm. and then I mix gelatin glue. Okay. Then I add water okay. to people colors. Mm -hmm. So, 
The glue concentration can be 5 percentile or 10 percentile. It's based upon what I'm using, what kind of pigments I use. Okay. Because this is natural graph, it's almost a half jewel kind of thing. So I have to use a 10 percentile glue, gelatin glue. But this one, I only use 5 percent. Mm -hmm. okay. So there are varieties. Do you know what the red is made from? Which one? I just love the red. The red that oh, we love. Oh, this one is insects. Yeah. You know, yeah. the, there is a cactus. There is a little tiny, very tiny insects living cactus. Mm -hmm. And that is from. Mm. Wow. So. Mm. <laughs> and, and the sticks, is, is, that, is there any other use other than what you're doing? Oh, okay. These sticks. There are different types of gelatin glues. They do make it from rabbits. I think usually in Europe they use a rabbit. And this is from cow skin. And or you can use the fish bones. So they grind, boil it, and then they go through through the process and then how it comes out this way. But maybe this is for me it's a bonding. It's a Bonders for these pigments. Do people use it for cooking, for example, or is it only for art? Only for art. Yes. Do you mix the charcoal also with the gelatin glue, or this one does have glues already in it? Mm. Because this is like uh, you know they want those pine trees, and then there is this smoke, and they collect the smokes, and then they put the glues, gelatin glues, mm -hmm. and make this one. Mm -hmm. So you do not have to put extra glues here. You just add water, mm -hmm. and you just roll. Yeah. Okay. What we do, I got this one from actually China. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I was thinking that's just for like calligraphy. Yes, calligraphy. Yes, yeah. yes, but I do use for the drawing. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's my materials I'm using for my paintings. Another question. Mm -hmm. um, how did you land on this as your way of painting? Oh, okay. I was a school nurse here okay. in Fresno. Oh, <laughs> Does yeah. anybody know Fresno? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then we end up retiring a little early. Mm -hmm. And so because of my parents, no, my husband's parents, uh, they do need care. So we decide to go back to country mm -hmm. and spend some time with them for their, you know, old age. Mm -hmm. So it ends up I'm spending 10 years there and mm -hmm. I just came back three years ago. Mm -hmm. So during that te 10 years, it was like a new culture to me even though I was born and raised in Korea. Mm -hmm. And I love art, especially painting all the time in my life. So. I was looking for a painting school just to watercolor. Mm -hmm. And then I got a chance to kind of find this Korean traditional painting. Mm -hmm. And I was just absorbed with that. I was so shocked that this is my thing. And so I went back to school. So I got my BA and MA over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. yeah, but I think that was the one best of, you know, Decision, one of my best decisions I made yeah. in my life. Yeah, yeah. That's so when I came back, it has been now coming to three years. You know, I'm very new here, especially in this art business. So it was like I wasn't sure where I should start. Mm -hmm. And by just the pure love, I found a tag. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that I made a very good choice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. Do the pigments mix like how watercolor, like blue and yellow becomes green? Does that happen with no, these? No, no. Okay. Oh, it can be. With oh. a synthetic one, yes it can. Oh. But with a natural one like this, no it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And each, each one has a different size anyway. So it cannot happen. But what it is, is the good thing about this painting is you paint with yellow layers and you dry that one. And if you put over there blue layers, it can be green,
but it is not like watercolor mixing yellow and green, mm -hmm. yellow, yellow and blue. Mm -hmm. So the, what I meant is the layer below the layer, the colors kind of see through or shines out mm -hmm. in some ways. Oh, interesting. So mm -hmm. if you see this green, it is under this blue, and then there is a little bit of red in in it. So, but if you just color green on a plain white paper, the green doesn't show up this way. Oh. So that's the difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. So subject matter wise, uh -huh. um, I see castles, landscapes, are these imaginary places? Are they based off real locations? It is a real lo location in America. <laughs> the series, because I had a chance to travel after I moved back and my husband and I rented the RV and we traveled. Mm -hmm. and, but I went to these places a long time ago with my kids, right? Mm -hmm. But I didn't get that impression that time. It was, wow, good, that's it. <laughs> but this time was like, oh my gosh, what is this? I was very impressed that I was in a stage that I really want to paint this one with my way. Mm -hmm. For this one, I need to talk about a little bit about the concept, what I have behind these paintings. And uh, does anybody know what is Indra's neck? Okay, then I'm going to make a small story. In Hinduism, there is a god named Indra. And Indra is the god of sky, rain, and thunderstorms. So this one is a very powerful god. And now he has a palace in one mountain. And over his palace, the sky is covered with net. But this net, there is no end. And each, this net on each vortex, there is a little tiny jewel. And on every vortex, and this jewel is multi-faceted jewel. So this one, this one jewel is reflected in all other jewels in one jewel. Mm. So what that story means is everything in this world depends on for their existence or their identity upon every other thing in this world. That is what it meant. So it means we are all interconnected and we are, we know we look different when we have different lifestyles. Whatever we have here in this moment, we are from other connections. That is what it meant. So that's what I wanted to kind of refer for interest in that here. And also uh, the other one is, <coughs> excuse me, Chinese, um, Philosopher Tao Tzu, um, Lao Tzu. Mm -hmm. Lao Tzu is the founder of uh, Taoism. He said once, uh, "We can shape, we can shape clay to the pot, but it is the inside emptiness it holds whatever we want." Mm -hmm. So what he meant is, outside we are all different and we can be whoever we are, but inside is more important than outside of what we have. So this part does mean it is kind of reporting ourselves. Mm -hmm. And those are the basic concepts of my paintings. And my landscape paintings are showing the interconnection between the land and the environment over millions of years to form certain formations. So that's what I paint. I hope I explained each of us that very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. When I read that story, I really loved it. You know, that means that we are all together. Mm -hmm. And we are all connected. Yeah. And it's not like, you know, you are different from me or because we are all existing in the same place. Absolutely. Same time. So. Yeah. Found very beautiful. And the photos don't do any justice mm -hmm. to your painting. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And from up close, the mm -hmm. colors, craftsmanship is fantastic. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.